manual sign on is non transparent it is not transparent that means that you have to talk to the firewall get yourself authenticated only then you can access the resources in the internet i minimize this i go get the um, remote desktop say 10.10 .10. yes asdf So I got the connectivity with 10.10. .10. I say right click. This is the same machine as this 10.10. .10. Yes. I close this and I close this. So I have taken the remote desktop of 10.10. .10. Now, what is configured? It is client authentication manual sign on is configured. So, since client authentication manual sign on requires a specific uh, authentication, this particular system is not authenticated now. If I go to the FTP here, say FTP, FTP is also permitted here, and I go to the command prompt and I say clear the screen FTP 30.0.0.10, say enter. I'm not getting I don't have any clue as to what is happening behind the scene this is because this is the behavior of manual sign on you will never have any clue I close cancel this you will have any uh, you, you will never have any clue because the manual sign on method here configured requires you to talk to the firewall either through telnet or through browser I close this and it goes to the browser and here even if you say 30.10 30.0.0.10 say enter you will never be able to go in because it's opening the page the connectivity will not be established because there is no authentication first of all I should talk to the firewall how will I talk to the firewall to get authentication I say 10.0.0.1 uh, space colon 900 that means if you see the diagram the firewall inner interface is 10.1 so this particular network is in 10 network he has to talk to this particular interface so minimize I say 10.1 colon 900 say enter it's asking client authenticate remote service what's your username username is uh, say um, Smith I say okay password is ASDF okay submit standard sign on sign off and specific sign on you can once you get signed in then you have to sign off and specific sign means you can specifically have to mention the service the service and the host HTTP service as 30.10 10 different servers you can specify once you specify only then it is possible I close this and I go again and I say 10.0.0.1 space colon 900 and my name is say Radhika submit username ASDF I say submit and I do a standard sign on standard sign on in the sense once you are authenticated then you can access any service which is permitted by the rule base I say submit and the user is authorized for so now this particular client system is authorized what happened now if you see the diagram the firewall remembers the IP address of this particular system not the user credentials firewall remembers the IP address of it. so what is the problem here now I use this I say 30.10 0.0.10 enter I'm getting I'm able to get it now I close this now the person who end I mean who has given the login credentials Ms. Radhika has gone somebody else is coming that somebody wanted to access 30.10 30.0.0.10 even if he is not a member anybody who use this particular system will get this uh, 30